Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Paul Plant Parent here, and I figured it's time to give you an update on my Sisus rhombifolia. This is the, uh, what would you call it? I guess it's like a, it's in the grapevine family. <laughs> and, uh, and I had this as a cutting that I put into um, acrylic yarn and of course I neglected it because I got so many plants but it's it's back and I've been giving it lots of feed and I have some new growth as you can see right there new growth there and here and here all over the place but that's and these are the old leaves you can see the old leaves have like they're yellowing a little but now that it's getting the orchid fertilizer it's doing much better and look at these roots gotta love these roots acrylic yarn this plant loves its acrylic yarn home i mean <laughs> that's a root system <laughs> look at that that is a root system and you can see it's a little bit dry i mean it's damp in there but i'm gonna fill this up to give it a little bit more water and feed but as you can see happy as can be new growth new growth there hope this isn't a bug what is that oh that's not a bug just a fuzzy new growth here new growth there and of course here and here these plants are very vigorous and they uh, they grow really well um, they don't need bright light lower light is fine um, and what I've noticed is when you do neglect them if you don't water them enough or you don't feed them enough of course they'll wilt a little but they just kind of slow down and um, and they wait patiently <laughs> for you to, to feed it and water it again. And this plant is doing just great. Look at these leaves, these new leaves are so perfect. I love it. Um, these also do grow well, semi-hydro. I have one in semi-hydro. Um, I just happen to like the acrylic yarn because look at these roots. It really, really enjoys the, all those air pockets and uh, it just went to town. I don't even remember how long it's been in here, but it's been here for quite some time. And it has put out a lot of growth. But, um, but yeah, Sissus plants are really cool and pretty easy and vigorous. If you want something that's going to grow fast, the only thing that I, uh, I will advise um, on anyone that's interested in these plants, they have tendrils that reach out and attach to anything they can find. So you may find yourself cutting tendrils, just the tendrils so that they don't, you know, attach to anything to a point where you can't remove it. Um, you could try unraveling the tendrils because they wrap around things. This one's an old one, so it's kind of dry. But I feel like it's just easier to just cut the tendril. Um, it's not hurting anything else. It won't hurt the leaves or anything. But yeah, otherwise you'll you'll find that it attaches to everything. <laughs> but they're really cool, really cool house plants, indoor plants. Um, this is rhombifolia. That is it. If you have any questions on this plant or any other cissus because I have a bunch of different varieties that I grow here. Just ask away, we will discuss. If you have any questions on growing them in the acrylic yarn medium, obviously, uh, this is just something that I started doing. Uh, just ask and I can walk you through it if you want to. If you want a plant that looks like this <laughs> with a root system like that, just reach out and we will work on that together. Um, Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified, and I will see you in the next video.